Hi there, Bob Wormsey from Insidium. Today's Top Tip Tuesday is a really good one. I'm going to show you how you can take a smoke and fire simulation and you can deform the actual volume using Cinema 4D deformers. This gives you the chance to set up a really quick and easy linear smoke and fire sim, but then bend it and twist it to get it to do whatever you want. It's a brilliant technique. Let's start that clock and we'll get started. In our scene, we have this primitive cylinder, which we'll be using a bit later. Let's switch that off. We've got a helix spline. You can use any spline. And we have a default exposure FX object. Let's get that set up first. So this is where we're going to do our smoke and fire sim. In the solver tab, we're going to change the size so it's nice, tall and thin is what we want. So 50 by 1300 by 50. Okay, and we want to come down and we want to make sure that nothing can escape from the sides of this container. So look, in the container options, we can block all of these sides apart from, so the fluid is completely trapped apart from it can escape from the top bit. And then let's leave everything else as is. Now we need an object that's gonna emit fuel. We're gonna use a sphere to do that. So let's bring it in, let's bring that sphere to the bottom. We'll just dolly in, we want this sphere to be quite small. Let's make, make it maybe five centimeters radius and have it down there now this needs a tag let's go to tags extensions insidium and we'll put on a exposure effects source and in that source tag we're going to switch off solid so it's filled up with fuel in the volume as well and we're going to put look let's ramp up the heat and the fuel to 200 and let's give this some pressure so there's going to be a pressure pushing the fluid away from the sphere and that's going to force it up more quickly so now if we hit play you can see yeah look we're getting our smoke and fire sim already let's change the display of this we're going to go to exposure effects we'll go to the display tab and i like to use the mode not slices i like to use grid which shows us the voxel grid um, data we can increase the level of detail to say 200 yeah that's looking good and now we're getting this type of effect so there is our sim and what we want is we want this smoke and fire to get all the way to the top of this container really so it gives us more to wrap around our spline so let's go to exposure effects simulation and we're going to do a couple of things we're going to increase the sim speed up to 130 we're going to increase the gravity so the force of the gravity stronger that is going to kind of multiply the buoyancy effect. It's going to push all these gases up more quickly, which is what we want. We could perhaps reduce this smoke buoyancy to maybe minus 10. Let's have a look. Hit play. Um, we've got this now, so it's kind of moving and cycling through more quickly. So we want to make a few changes to the way it's burning. I want more flames kind of reaching higher up. So the way we'll do that is we'll come down to the burning model. We'll change it from the default chemical to custom. And we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to reduce the burn rate to 20 so the fuel doesn't get burnt as quickly. So we should uh, get some flames happening higher up in our container. Yeah, look, the licks of flames are lasting much higher. Excellent. We're going to reduce the ignition heat to zero so fuel is ignited immediately. Let's hit play. That's looking good. Yeah, and we're getting all the way up. Nice. Getting all these flames at the top now. And let's just create a little bit more smoke. We'll go to the smoke from heat and put this on maybe 1.5. And then obviously you can make as many adjustments as you like, but this is probably going to do us for now. But we've got this simulation of our fire going right up our container and we're getting licks of flames. That's what we want. Great. So now this is the key. It's so quick and easy to set up a simple sim like this. So we can do it in this very linear way and then we can deform it into the shape that we want. So to do that, we need to go to the deformers menu here. Let's pick a spline wrap. We'll make a spline wrap. Let's just go to the first frame so there's no data in our, in our scene. We'll make the spline wrap a child of the exposure effects object. The spline wrap needs to know what spline do you want to use so let's drag in our helix we need to get the axis orientation correct we want the plus y and now here's the magic when we hit play look our linear smoke and fire sim is now being wrapped around our helix spline amazing and if we just come in a bit 
This is procedural. So if we go to our helix and we change these angles, look, we can actually animate these should we wish and change how this spline is um, is looking. And you can do that and keyframe that for your simulation. And one thing to note is the more that you are deforming the smoke and fire sim, the more kind of voxel detail you need, the more data you need to be able to do that so you don't get any kind of stretching effects. So let's just quickly set up this so it's looking a bit nicer. If we activate our cylinder again, here it is, we can wrap this cylinder around that same helix. To do that, look, let's take our spline wrap, hold control, make a copy. We'll make this one a child of our cylinder. So now the cylinder's being wrapped around that same one. Let's go to our camera. Now the cylinder has got a glass material on, so let's go to Insidium Cycles and start our real-time preview. Hit play, and here is our cylinder. So now we just need to put a texture on our exposure effects. So we'll go to the Material Manager, we'll go to this arrow here, Cycles 4D. There's loads of exposure effects presets. Let's bring in this burn one, put it on our exposure effects domain, and now we are rendering that smoke and fire sim and it is contained within our helix glass tube so great for kind of internal combustion engine scenes and um we're getting this amazing looking quick render in an, what looks like an incredibly complex smoke and fire sim but actually really simple and easy to set up